good morning, afternoon, or evening, whichever it is for you. I, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to episode 55 of West Coast Gold Prospecting. Uh, today I'm in the same spot as I was last week, and um, probably 75 yards up creek, and uh, try to try a, a new new area, obviously. And um, I'll show you what my first pan looks like and what I'm working. Right, so we're working along a, a bedrock wall type deal, and the first thing I've seen was this, uh, I guess you call it a boil hole, kind of, depression in the bedrock, whatever, but yeah, it had a whole bunch of material in it, it was, it was full up to the top with material, so I took the pan out of there, and yeah, there's some, some good looking stuff, but anyhow, here's what the first pan looks like. Not too bad, probably about 20 pieces. Somewhere right in there. Yeah, pretty stoked about today. You know, not not too often to find these, these good good deposits. Looks like we got some more bedrock to break up up there. And yeah. Anyhow, I'm gonna get back to it. I'm gonna clean out this hole. And uh, also clean out some of these little, some of this moss on here. These little pockets. And I'll show you the next pan here in a second. All right, pan number two, same hole. I'm gonna have to get my crevice pump out and clean that out properly. It's like a little crevice type deal in the bottom of that. And I can't quite get the material out of there, so I'm gonna use the crevice pump. Anyhow, here's pan number two. Um, it's not too bad. Probably got 10 pieces or so. Somewhere right in there. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a good day, Tater. Yes, indeed. Alright, so I'm gonna get right back to it. I'll show you the next one here in a second. Yeah, boy! <laughs> I finished clearing this out. There was a rock jammed in the bottom of this. Look how deep that goes. It's another three or four inches below the, uh, there's another three or four inches down there. And I, I crevice pumped it out, like I said. Check this out, baby. Woo! Two pickers and probably 20 finds. Yeah, baby. You gotta pick them up. Look at that. Gosh! Yes! Yeah, buddy! This one's pretty flat, but still able to pick it up with ease. Oh my gosh! Definitely gonna be a good day. And I, I'm really curious to see what's in this material. It's like a, it's like a V. When this water's uh, flooding, everything is being pushed right up over into this. And, uh, Woo, that got my heart pumping. So stoked. All right, all right, on to the next one. All right, another pan down. I just started scratching some moss and, and a little little pocket right there. Probably only two inches deep. But most of it was moss. And uh, here's what come out of it. Probably 20, 25 pieces somewhere in there and that's not too bad at all all right so I think I might be able to get my food my food box set up right here I'm hoping and uh, then I'll do a test a test pan of this material it, 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 as you can see it's a little pinch point right there and it kind of widens out into these uh, tree and roots and stuff so Hopefully there's some good gold in there and I can just feed my food box. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm hoping. I'll see if I can get it set up and I'll show you the next pan. All right, so my last pan had nothing in it. That was up there by my crevice pump there. So I moved down just a, just a little bit on a spot I, I had my eye on from last week. And I started digging. You won't be able to see it, but I started digging in 
along this bedrock on this uh, it's kind of like a root ball type of deal right in there it was not too bad I'll show you here probably 20 25 pieces something like that come on there we go. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. So I'm gonna continue on and poke around and. Got a 70 yeah. It's all small, but... Matt just said he got a 70 spec pan. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll show you the next one here in a minute. All right. So I decided to do a pan from right on top of this rock here, just scraping up some of the moss and and dirt from in here, and not the greatest probably maybe 10 pieces somewhere in theirs so anyhow I am thinking about going back to where I first started and there's some bedrock that I can some more bedrock I can break up and uh, so I'll head back over there and I'll, I'll show you the next pan here in a second all right so I had to stop and and do a test pan a little spot right there yeah, it's not too bad biggest spec count of the day for me probably 40 to 50 or somewhere right around there not too bad at all that came from right here broke up a little bedrock and scraped up some moss and that's what was in it so I think for my next pan I'm going to do a right in here you know look down there there's a nice little crevice and flattens out into that there so I'll take a scratch at that and I'll show you what it looks like here in a second all right so I started digging in that crevice there and got way down in there and uh, about halfway through with it Here's what came out of that pan. Not too bad at all. Probably another 40 pieces, somewhere right in there. Not too bad. So I'm gonna finish this out here. Oop, finish this stuff out. And I'm gonna move back up to where I started and uh, work my way into the bushes and I see some, I have my eye on some bedrock that, that might be pretty good. So I'll show you this next pan here in a second. All right, so I got this crevice pretty much cleaned out as, as much as I'm going to. Um, <clears throat> and this pan wasn't nearly like the last one. Probably only got, I don't know, 10 pieces in there, something like that. So, time to move on. I'm gonna go back to that spot I first started where the uh, little pickers were, and uh, I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, so here's my second pan from in there. I chopped my way into this, this little area. It's right on some bedrock. And I'm just kind of sucking up some material off the bedrock. And uh, the first pan I got only had three specks in it. This one's a little bit better. We're looking at 20 or 25 pieces. Not too bad. So, I'm gonna continue on over there. See how much more I can get. And I'll show you the next one here in a second. All right, another pan down from in there. In the jungle over there. Uh, not the greatest. We probably have maybe 10 pieces. Not the greatest. Let me show you what I'm working. So I, I chopped my way into this was all covered with bushes and whatnot and chopped my way in there and just been working this bedrock. And uh gotta be honest, not having the best of luck. But um I think I might do is come over here and break up some of this bedrock 
right there and uh, pan that out and I'll uh, show you the next one here in a minute. Alright, so I've come down the creek just, uh, just about 20 yards or so next to Matt here. And I'm digging right here where my foot is. Just kind of working my way up into this bedrock dirt, whatever you want to call it. And here's my first pan. Not too bad, probably 20, 25 pieces. Somewhere in there. Yeah, yeah, so I think I'll do another pan or two and I'll, I'll show you the next one. Right now. Woo! -hoo! I was just digging along in this, this hole right here and look what I found. Look at that nice little flake. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Get another close up of that. Woohoo! All right, so I'll show you this pan here in a second. All right, another pan down from the same hole. Uh, this one is not too bad either. Probably got another 20, 25 pieces somewhere in there. Let's see, there we go. Oh, I can't wait to get my new phone. I'm getting the iPhone 12 Pro Max and I've heard really good things about the, the quality of video so I'm looking forward to that for sure anyhow on to the next pan all right so I moved down Creek probably another 40 yards or so right back to the spot I was at last week where I got those nice little pickers and where I got that uh, pay dirt bags for uh, for homie <laughs> uh, so anyhow I just thought I'd clean it up a little bit better you know brush it all up and get it as clean as I can and here's what come out of the first pan got a nice chunky little piece here yeah I can, I can pick it up I can roll it with my finger it's a nice one that and probably 20 25 other little pieces so yeah so I think I'm gonna clean up this this stuff a little bit better maybe do a few more moss pans dig around on the bedrock here for a minute and I'll show you the next pan here in a second all right so another pan down just kind of random random spots throughout here I did a whole bunch of moss from right there and just bits and pieces from here and there. And here's what come out of that last one. Not the greatest. Probably got five, six pieces in there. Anyhow, I think I'm going to wander around. See what else I can find. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Alright. So I just grabbed the pan from right here in that little crevice. Or whatever it is. Find some bedrock there and Here's what come out of it. Oh, horrible lighting here. Anyhow, it's a nice bigger flake. It's got some size to it. I can actually feel it. Oh, can't quite pick it up, but anyhow, it's a nice one. It's going to add to the weight. So, I think I might wander around a little bit more and see what else I can find so I've been walking by this root ball that's been dislodged probably because of flood or for whatever reason but it keeps catching my eye the reason being is there's bigger rocks like this jammed in there and then underneath there's you know rolled river gravels oh it's even a piece of old glass Trip. anyhow I think I'll just smash this up a little bit take my pick to it and I'll do a pan show you what that looks like all right so after taking a chunk out of the bottom of this root ball here's what come out of it oh come on not too bad I mean there's 
four or five little pieces there. It's gonna add up. I'm just having fun being out here. Man, I tell you, when I got here this morning, I, I tried doing a pan with no gloves on and my hands literally froze. I was numb. But now, since the sun hit us, this water actually feels good. I can't wait till it warms up a little bit. The water temperature right now is 48 or 47 degrees. And I'd like it to get up to, uh, you know, 55 or, or 60 before I start sniping. And I cannot wait. I have a two-person hookah set up that I am itching to get in here with. Got a seven mil wetsuit. Um, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. I have a feeling that, you know, if I'm finding pickers and stuff up here on the, on the bank that once we get down in the bedrock in the water here, that it should be pretty darn good. So anyhow, I'm going to wander back to my, my pack and uh, kind of take a break. I don't know if I'm done for the day or not, but uh, if not, I'll show you the next pan. If I am, I'll, I'll show you the, the uh, total. All right, so I've moved up creek just a little bit, and I broke out some bedrock here. Scratched up most of the material in it, and uh, I got four little, come on now. Four little nano dots there, four little pieces. Um, I think I might, there's a, there's a crevice going in here. I think I might break it up even further and do one more pan. I'll show you that right now. All right, so I've broken up a little more bedrock. Try to clean my lens there. And uh, I started scooping stuff out with my hand. I looked in, the, in my classifier and that thing showed up. Yuck. I think, I wanna say that's a salmon fly, but I really don't know for sure. I do know it's creepy, it's all get out. I know I picked it up with my damn hand. Yuck. Anyhow, I'm gonna get out some more material, get that bug out of there, and uh, I'll show you this pan here in a second. Alright, so I had a scratch around in here, I broke off a little bedrock in there, and, and dug up some loose material that was laying there, and uh, here's what came out of it. Some, uh, some nicer flakes. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So when I was I was poking around here, I put my pry bar under this edge over here, along this long piece, and the whole thing is, is moving. Big old, big old long piece of bedrock, and there's all kinds of material underneath it. So I'm gonna move that right now and gather up material and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I got that chunk of bedrock moved uh, right in here and man, hardly anything came out of there. Like four or five little pieces. So what I think I'm gonna do is work my way along this bedrock here and um, I might poke around in one more spot and do one more pan, but it's already almost five o'clock, so I'm getting ready to skedaddle. So I'll show you the next pan here in a second. All right, so I just dug, well, this piece of, this, this rock fell over where I was digging, but I was digging right in there. And uh, probably my best pan of the day as far as spec count. Look at that. Woo! Yeah. Man, there's gotta be 60, 70 pieces in there, something like that. Yeah. So, so I know exactly where I'm coming next week. Got my eye on this material here. You know, I think I'll do one more pan for the hell of it. I think I got time for one more. And I'm gonna do it from right there. It looks like, it's like root type material. Yeah. Let me get this snuffered up and I'll show you the next one in a second. Well, I'm done. When that boulder rolled over, over here my snuffer bottle was on top of it and went down the river. 
I can't find it anywhere. It had to have been what happened. Son of a... Yeah. Oh man. Oh my god, my heart is broken. Oh. All right. Well. Yep. I got no way to snuff up any gold, so I'm done. Here's all the gold I have. Is that last pan? That, that 50 spec pan. Or whatever. Man, that's the first time I've ever lost one. I'll be damned. That's it. I'm, I'm putting it on a necklace from now on. Man. Oh, I'm so bummed. Alright, well. Damn. Oh my god. I found it. It floated down the river and ended up laying right here. It was laying right over here in this. Cause I, just because I had some air in it, um, this back current pushed it over into here. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh man, I was so heartbroken. Woo. Yeah. Oh man. I cannot believe that. Wow. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I am so happy right now. Oh, I have never lost a snuffer bottle. Ever. Not that would have just sucked. Wow. Now I get to snuff this stuff up. Oh man. All right, all right. So I'll show you back at the car what we got for a total for today. Yeah. All right, so we're back at the car. <laughs> Here's what I got for the day. I still can't believe I found this. Two, two nice little pickers and a bunch of finds. Man, I am lucky. Anyhow, let's see what Matt got. And here's Matt's take for the day. He got some nice chunky pieces too. Big huge flake and a nice little picker, poker, nugget, thingamajigger. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he, he definitely beat me today. I'm, again, <laughs> like every weekend. <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you back at the house for weigh-in. All right, so we're back home. I got the gold dried out and cleaned up. And here's what we're looking at for for yesterday's little trip. I'm lucky I have any gold at all, to be honest. I can't believe I found that snuffer bottle. Anyhow, let's do a quick close up here. Got two nice pickers and well, I got three. I can pick up the other piece next to the big ones, but anyhow. Yeah, it was a good day. We had a lot, uh, a few good weekends the last, last couple. So anyhow, let's get this weighed up and see what we got. I'm gonna have to guess 0 0.3, but who knows. <clears throat> all right, all right. All right, here we go. Wait a minute. Let's see how much these these pickers weigh. I always forget to do that. Nice. Point one three zero. Let's get this other one. All right. Quarter gram just in pickers. Let's add in the rest here. Let's see what we got. Yeah. 0.325. Not too bad at all. 
considering I lost my snuffer and found it again. So lucky. So let's see what we got for a, a 2021 total so far. Four point four five zero, almost four and a half grams this year so far. Yep, I'll definitely beat last year's 2019-2020's record of, um, I think it was nine grams or something. Anyhow, not too bad at all. Got some nice chunky pieces in there. Yeah. All right, all right. So that's it for today's trip. But uh, I did want to thank my patrons and channel members. Channel members are Otis Ferris, Daniel, Jeremy Lincolns. Patrons Darren Salmon, Clint Turner, Jeremy Lincolns, and Brian, Carsel Brian Carlson, and Matt Erbach. You guys rock. Appreciate your support. Alright, so until next time you guys, I hope you, you're all doing well, and we will see you on the next one.